Right guys, in this video today, um, we are en route to Kingswood Golf Centre. Now the weather is just absolutely beautiful. Let's talk a bit about Kingswood Golf Centre. It's an absolute mint course, it's um, an 18 hole course, it's got water, it's got everything. It's my third course I've played since my lesson with Jack. So I'm not expecting too much, but hopefully with the sun being out and the weather being amazing, I can just have a good round. I'll not be recording every single shot. I'll basically be recording a few shots. Um, I've also got the new tripod. So yeah, that should be good. And yeah, I'll basically see you guys on the course and it should be a good one. So see you guys on the course. Right guys, so we are here at Kingswood Golf Centre. I'm on the first hole. Um, it's a par four. I actually need to switch my uh, GPS watch on. Uh, so we're going to use a 6 iron and we'll see how we go. First strike at there, mm, not too bad. We basically caught it a little thin guys so yeah guys as i said uh, sorry if the camera work isn't the best this is my first time doing a bit of a course vlog um his first shot was a bit naff to be fair i didn't catch it the best i caught it quite thin but first swing at day oh actually it's not done too bad it is literally right here so I'm trying to find satellites on my watch because it's still not found any satellites. So we're literally just here guys. So I'll set you guys there. The plan is guys, seven iron. Let's see if we can actually hit a good shot this time. That is a ripper guys. <laughs> that, that was a better hit. I think we're just short at bunker. Right guys, I join you on my third shot on this par four. We have added, I tell you what, what a lining we've got. Absolute corker. There's my ball, just there. Greens are looking mint here at Kingswood Golf Centre. Oh god, my camera's going a bit blurry. So we're literally just here, so it's going to be a glove off and chip. Now my chipping at minute has not been the best, so uh, yeah. Guys, we have a par chance. I was just aimed a bit the wrong way, but for first chip at day, I'll take that. Get in. guys the greens are running a bit quick um i free putted like i say a minute my putting's been letting me down and that's been the big problem my watch has actually found um satellites what the hell is that bird piping up about so yeah basically my putting at the minute has let me down and really i feel like we should have had a bogey on that one but we ended up with a double but to be fair guys, for my handicap, it's not a bad effort at all. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to tee off on this second hole here at Kingswood and I'll join you. We have my second shot goes, it is literally just down there, a couple of bunkers to left and right. So yeah. 
Right guys, we've hit his drive, and you know what? I hit it so well, but I think we've just gone in the trees over there. It's a shame, and I always want to say this to you guys. Don't ever be afraid to not commit to shots. You know, I mean, like, obviously my, I'm working on getting my driver straight. It's just about learning to play the course, guys, and I think that's the main thing of, in, in golf. It's about learning course management and committing to stuff. I, back in the day, I used to be so scared and I used to be in that stream. <laughs> I remember when I used to start the amount of balls that's probably gone in that stream for me is ridiculous. Right guys, so my ball is actually here. So I reckon it's bounced off one of these trees and landed right here. <laughs> that is so lucky. So I'll sit you guys there. We've got about 150 uh, to the green. I might do, we it being quite warm weather, I'm probably gonna take a nine iron and run it up. I may come short though, guys, this is the problem. Let's see how we go. So that was my second shot. I'm very unlucky. I reckon I might be out of bounds, guys. If not, I'm in that really bad long stuff just to the back of the green. I'm hoping it stopped. I did see it bounce to the left, um, but I'm not 100% sure. If I'd have aimed a bit more right, it'd have been on green. So yeah, let's see where it's gone. Right, guys, all is good. I've found it. It's like I said, we've dropped long. We're literally on the edge here so yeah so from this angle this is the ball that's the flag for a birdie chipping so i will let you guys know what happens after i finish the hole wish me luck right guys i thought i'd do a little face cam uh, there's no one on the next tee so i'm all right to chat for a bit we ended up getting a bogey um the port i i saw it a left and a right but it literally, I thought it went right then left, but we went to the right side. Very unlucky, the chip was nice. Um, and we ended with a five in the end, so not too bad. Right guys, I join, I join you, I couldn't get my words out then, here on the third old Kingswood Golf Centre. It's a par three, walked at left, a bail out at right. So if you're not very confident on this all going to, going over it, you can bail it at right. I'm going to take a nine iron guys, we're one five three. Uh, from the middle of the pin, but with 139 to the front. So with summer conditions, if I get a good roll, providing I hit a good shot, we could get on green. Right guys, I catched it nice, but I don't think I've made it there. Now my goal was to hopefully drop it on the front edge and make it roll with it being summer conditions. By the way, if you want to what's in the bag, just let me know guys and I'll be more than happy to do that. In hindsight guys, I had right idea, but I honestly think that I should have probably gone eight iron. I think it's just dropped. I did see something to the left of that banking. <laughs> my goal was, it was a pretty straight shot, but my goal was to kind of hit it and then roll it on the front. Because obviously I went on the last nine, I, nine iron <laughs> on the other one. And luckily we didn't end up splashing in the water. So that's good. But yeah, I think it was the wrong choice in the end, guys, and I don't always make great decisions. Um, you know, hence, obviously being quite a high handicapper, we don't make the greatest decisions at times. When we take the shots, we think, why the hell did we do that? I don't know, if that's a ball at the side of the green, I literally can't see it, guys. I thought I saw it down, but I'm not 100% there. I'm a bit worried, just a little, 
if it's rolled I had the right idea I think this could be it guys it is literally big it's literally here at the side of the green holy cow it was the right choice guys it's here it is literally here oh my days that is madness we've literally just got that a nice by the way that's not a bald ear that's a feather that's <laughs> so we've literally got that for a birdie so i'll let you guys know again how it goes hopefully i can at least get a par but we'll see